Good morning, everyone. Early start here, but a great match. My name is Scott Simonetti, and sitting down now, just did the introductions. We got Steven. How's it going, buddy? What's going on? And look at this is, I, I just want to screen cap this. Um, Allison Fisher versus Jeanette Lee. Is this not? This is 1994, 92, I think it was. <laughs> All over again, maybe. I, I know Jeanette's the entire been nine, 90s. I, I know Jeanette since 91. And whenever Allison came over to Pond, whatever year that was, it's got to be 20 years. Well, but Allison uh, whatever and Jeanette it is, this opening is up this full day of nine ball. We have women's, we have the open bar box, and we'll be finishing up one pocket today. But it is an early start here. And we have Allison Fisher to break. Wins the lag. This is a race to seven, alternate break, winner side. So Jeanette must be doing something right, playing good. She's been here for a couple days, saying her stroke's getting better. Um... She also said that the the walking is bothering her back and her feet. But she is a trooper. We all know that. Allison to break. Sledgehammer pockets three balls. Allison's got to look at this two ball. I think she's going to back cut it. I don't think she's going to play it in the right hand corner. I think she's going to play bottom left. What's up, Scotty? Hey, we got Phil or Tori in the booth. Just stepping in. We could play some after this there, Philly Babes. So hopefully this goes. Nice and quick and smooth. Good playing. Two in the bottom left corner. Come around. Nice touch by Allison. She do here, Scotty. She's got to let a stroke out and go back no, and forth. No, I don't think she has. She's going to slow roll it. But the slow roll... Is probably better. She don't have to go all the way across. Just nice slow roll. Now that angle is good. Wanted to be maybe one inch or two inch a little bit to the left, but she's going to pocket the four ball, one rail again, and put the five in the same corner pocket. I don't think she's going to go across a little draw and come out right around where the cue ball is. She does go across and comes up perfect. Absolutely perfect for the five in the corner. Stop for the eight, stop for the nine. Simple enough. Allison looking to go up one nothing. First match of the day for our stream. The bar box nine ball has been going on since I believe 9 a.m. Nice clean out, break and run for Allison Fisher to open up the day. Looking around the room, we got everybody wearing these Black Widow uh, oh, yeah. shirts. Yeah, beautiful. Everyone's got a Black Widow shirt. I got to get one. Proceeds of that go to Jeanette Lee's uh, Legacy Fund for her children. I'm her sure kids she, were here, right? Yes, yeah. She had, uh, she had a family with her, supporting her all weekend long. Trying to get this score updated. Yeah, let me, let me get in there. All right. Ah, there we go. 
So Allison takes a one nothing lead. It's alternate break format. So the break will go to Jeanette. This is uh, the guaranteed ninth through twelfth round. Yeah. Looks it's like early the winner morning. of this match plays the winner of Mary Tam and Bethany Sykes. This is the hot seat, you said? No. No. Right. no. Ninth through twelfth. On the other side of the bracket, it's Caroline Powell and April Lawson. That's going on now, I think. And Monica Webb defeated Janet Atwell 7-5. to five. That's the winner side matches. This is a 1990s ESPN pool right That's here. what I said. That's it was great. Uh, 20 years, whatever it is. This is what 30? I grew up watching on ESPN. 95, 96. I, I can't remember the year Jeanette, uh, Allison traveled over here. I can't remember the first year she was here, but she won everything. Yeah, as soon as she put her, she as soon as she landed on U.S. soil, she just dominated for about two years. Just won everything. So... Allison and Jeanette have battled many, many times. A little different situation now. 20, 30 years later, they're all retired up pretty much from big time travel pool. But here they are, found their way. Jeanette still popping them balls. Nice break. Uh, well, we got a little piece of that one, Scotty. Can't yeah, get the whole ball there. No whole ball. Jeanette's going to have to look to play safe unless she wants to go shooting trick shots. This eight is tied up, and it's tied up pretty good because the sevens always looks like it's going to be tough to even break it up on the way. So that's a tough eight, nine laying out there. Jeanette's looking at this one ball. I don't think she could bank it. No, I she think she could, she could then it go two rail, or two, three rails and try to get her underneath the eight, nine, yeah, and well. maybe even give the eight a slight bump. I mean, that's... I don't think she has the... She might have the bank. She's got to look at this bank. I mean, this angle does not give us... It kind of looks like she might hit the tree, but it's wide open for a bank. <laughs> She's looking at the safe I I don't, talking I don't, about. Yeah, I don't see the reason. What's the point? You can't... You don't have a run out. There's a cut run that, out. Cut that one to the seven. What's the run out with the eight nine tied up, Scotty? Wow, the run... Cut the one to the seven and go three rails behind the eight nine. Maybe give the eight a little yeah, bump. you got to... You... She's going to play that shot. Well, she doesn't have enough English on it to go behind the 8-9, but she is doing that shot. Ooh, Ooh and it was that. chunky. Jeanette's first shot. Scratches off the one into the corner, giving Allison ball in hand, says you deal with that 8-9. Allison actually was talking with, uh, with Mike and I. She's real interested in doing a, do, doing a match with us, like an action match. Oh, Allison. That was pretty exciting. Allison's a gambler. Jeanette yeah. used to bet thousands. It's, she's always looking for action. Uh, Whoa, we're getting swung around here on my vision. Yeah, give us a minute here. Uh, we're trying to make everything perfect. Jeanette needs a fan. She feels a little bit heated, so we have a fan that we're trying to set up for her. Stephen's drinking this morning. All right. Attached a camera there. Sorry, guys. Attached a fan to the camera. Yeah, we're trying to cool Jeanette off. <laughs> and Allison and misses a two ball, little bunny shot, and Steven unexpected. Schrocker. Yes, Stephen's sharking her, trying to set up some sort of fan. <laughs> you got to see, see what Stephen's doing here. Anything for Jeanette. <laughs> I said anything for Jeanette. We're trying to cool her off. Jeanette's looking at the seven, trying to think about how what kind of angle it looks like to come off that seven. Takes a quick peek, and now focuses on this two ball. You're okay.
put it on a chain and do something else. But don't use that again. In the middle of the night. <laughs> Jeanette goes one reel and comes out for the three in the corner. Just trying to make sure we got this camera set up right. So Jeanette wants to drag this straight across with a little draw. Go to the long rail. Nice shot there. Good stroke. So Jeanette's going to have to deal with this 8-9. Maybe could get an uh, angle on a 7. Either to go into it, maybe get behind this 8. But it's tough. Goes nowhere except that top left corner. At least clean. It's the only pocket it has. So I think she rolls up. Maybe tries to keep an angle to go off that back rail. Put the 7 in the left corner and maybe come down towards that 8-9, get a piece of it. She's going to work on that angle, though. Five ball on the side. Yeah, that's going to be the key here. But she's got options. She, if she can't go into it, she could always come down and try to get behind it. Yeah, her only shot is the 8 up the corner, but you can always play safe. You just want to make yeah. sure you get... Come up behind it and stick them. Well, so, she has an angle to get behind it. Yeah. She could draw one, two, three, four rails, or she's got she's two got rails. Few, yeah, there's a few ways she can go here. Two rails off the top. You can even dive you can even towards. go low right, come underneath the side pocket, and try to come behind it. I think she's going to go to the left rail. There yeah, you go. See, that's that's Ooh. the thing that scared me was the side pocket up well, that way. I'll tell you what, if she doesn't hit the point, it might have got a piece off the back rail, but instead, this ain't good. This is tough. This thing, if she slams it, let's take a look. Let's see if there's a circus shot. But that nine, I don't know. If she whales it, can it go cross side? Well, do you want to whale it? Or yeah. Do you want to hit it with a half a ball no, with the right I, speed? Where, remember, the look at the tangent line. The eight yeah, goes right I know the, the eight, I know the eight could fall, but you, I don't think you get any distance. So you get the eight to the bottom rail, but the cue ball might not get past the sides. If you're going to play straight up safe. But I've been looking to smash this ball and bank it cross-side. Nope. She's going to play smart. Jeanette's looking at the one-rail kick here. Try and kick it and stick it. Leave the cue ball behind the nine. At least get the eight up table. I like the other way off the long rail. And play the eight down to where the chalk is at, and then you kind of split. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good shot, but you the shoot. The nine sends it right to the rail. You, this way, the, the way you're talking about, the cue ball is going to be coming towards and then have to click and go up table, you know? So maybe it was on the other end, like if it was where Jeanette's standing now and you kicked it that way, the cue would definitely go up table. But shooting at this angle, it might not. It's just tough. I mean, if she hits it. If she hits it okay or pretty I good, hope it can hang kicks up in the it in. I hope she kicks Tough it shot. in. I hope she kicks it right in the side. But she's playing the corner. Oh, yeah, she's playing the corner, but I hope she kicks it in the side. Ooh, man. Well, a little firm, but you see the idea there. If she caught just a little less of that eight ball, not so fat, that eight would be a little bit more towards the center of the table. Instead, there's a little angle, bounces out, and gives Allison perfect one rail. Follow on this eight. And that's going to get Allison to two nothing. Yeah, 
Nice clean out there. For two balls by Allison. Says like, thank you, thank you. Two nothing. One ball is going to sit up on that top rail. Allison has the option. I think she could be aggressive and bank or go the regular route and look for a safe here. I'm not sure she get the left side at one ball. So she got. Looks like she gotta, has to go off the right hand side, which would be. Uh oh, she's looking at that bank. Now she's eyeing stuff up. But the safe might be within the right side of one. Try and keep it on that short rail and bring the cue two rails out towards the nine, but she is pushing out. Hey, Scotty, I'm back. Hey, hello, Steven. How's it going, buddy? So Allison pushes. Jeanette's taking a look. She's coming to the table. I don't think she's going to give it back. It's either bank or now you have the left side. So you could bank the one down and leave the cue up there by the seven and the three. Try and play some sort of safe. Yeah, I think she's got enough blockers here that... She might be banking. Jeanette might bank this ball. I mean, it's a good bank you make. You she get the two hanging. She the other day with uh, Billy Thorpe in the doubles match. Yeah, she hit this oh, ball pretty look good. look at that. Wow. Good hit. Would have had a nice shape on that two ball, but it just wiggles and comes out. Not sure if this passes the one. Yep, I think so. Nope, she's kicking. So she don't have a full shot. Allison's looking at this, trying to kick one rail. Kick this one in the corner, cross corner. I think I actually think she's trying to just stick it and, and put the one ball on the other side of the two. She, I mean, she may she's make trying, it in. Yeah, she's she trying to play the, the kick. She's trying to bank yeah. kick it. Yeah, she's not she's trying, trying to bank it. safe it. I mean, kick, kick safe. safe. No, yeah. she's got a pocket right here. You're saying forget about that corner, but try and get it by the two? I'm saying I'm she'd, just rather, saying. she'd rather uh, get the safe than possibly leave a pocket. But she made the ball. Good shot. She's got a two ball here, cross corner. She makes it. She's going to try and roll out, probably play the three and end up with the three in the side. So if you make the bank, you're going to roll into position. He overcut that bank just a tad. Gets well, away Jeanette with it tough. and leaves big cover. Jeanette will be kicking also. And she's where she's kicking at, she's looking at maybe having to go two rails and come up from behind it rather than hitting it on the uh, the right side at our view because that, that may lead to a scratch. Yeah, I like that shot there. Two rails. Try and get that two ball up table. Now she's saying maybe go this way. I like the two rail better. Because this, if Jeanette shoots this ball, it's going to cut it towards the hole. And even 
bounce up a little bit. The two rail's easier to control for Jeanette, I believe. It but she's, like she's going. She's trying to make it, yeah. It's a tough one. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook, do us a favor. Go ahead and share the post. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Facebook? This is Facebook oh, free. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, everyone gets to see this. Facebook free. It's it's a uh, oh, nice hit, but I was worried about. that is uh, tough, tough, tough. Doesn't leave it too simple here for Allison. Allison only has one pocket for this two ball. Yeah, and this is, guys, this is history right here. This is history. So I think uh, if we're doing I think it, if it does, uh, I mean, she's got an easy safe, but she does have the out. If she could roll this up and get on the three in the side, she definitely wants to go for the out. If she don't like it, she's going to just stick it and freeze Jeanette on that nine. But she's dying to shoot this two up the corner. She, uh, she's going to roll all the way up. She's going to make this ball. Pass the side and get on the three for the other side. She might roll it. Yeah, oh, good yeah, good shot. Great shot by Allison. She either could stick it or go. Uh, she's got a little angle. She's going to go one rail and come back out for that four. Guys, this is our final day here at the Omega uh, Diamond Open, the inaugural Diamond Open. Been here since you, Tuesday. Uh, it's been a great, great five days now. Is it five, Stephen? It's, uh, it's been I a long time. I've been <laughs> it's been Saturday, a long, right? So. Oh, you've been here since Saturday. Been here since Saturday. Oh, Saturday. boy. So, um, guys, if you haven't got your pass yet, there's a lot of action left. We have our one-pocket finals. We'll have our ladies um, as well as... Um, we'll be moving a bar box into this arena at some point, a diamond seven footer, and we'll be doing the uh, open nine ball um, on this after the one pocket is over. So we got a lot of pool left. Go to omegabilliards.com, buy your pay per view pass. Um, yeah, I mean, with, with the matches we've been having, um, it, it, if you're a pool fan, it's totally worth it. All champions in the house. Two legends of the game right here. Allison kind of drew, came up a little short. She wanted a couple more inches to get straighter on this five. She's got to force to go two rails, and now you got to make sure you come off that second rail and don't get, you know, snookered by the eight. So one, one, two, don't get snookered by the eight. Okay. Just enough, and it's perfect. I believe Allison's going to take a look, a look at this to get on the eight in the side. I don't know if she's going to just drag it over and shoot the eight in the corner. I can't tell the the angle, but she's got. Yeah, you know, she might just draw this and shoot it down the corner. Nope, she had the angle. Draw for the side, perfect. And Allison is going to take an early commanding 3 nothing lead. We had two um, scratches by Jeanette. Giving ball in hand to the Duchess of Doom. Allison one ball away from a 3 0 lead. This is ultimately a break. And it will be. Allison's break. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook, thank you so much for all the comments. We really appreciate it. Thank you, John. We appreciate it. Um, I don't want to butcher your name. It starts with a CHO, but um, uh, Shane and Allison won the doubles. We've crowned three champions so far at this event. Roberto Superman Gomez wins the Timball event. Uh, Justin Hall wins the Banks event. SVB and Allison Fisher win the doubles. 
We will crown a one pocket champion later today. We will crown a ladies champion later today. And we will crown an open nine ball champion later today. So again, thank you guys. Hey Paco, how's it going buddy? Thank you guys so much for all the comments. Paco, we, we, what's up Paco? We really appreciate it guys. It's been a heck of an event. We're, we're on like day seven of, or I don't, I don't even know what day it is. It's, it's a lot of days. Um, we're all a little tired, but we're on the last leg, and we're ready to we're ready to keep this thing going. So Jeanette to break game number four. Thank you, Beck, for the for the comment about the commentary. We appreciate that. Frank, uh, there will be other women's matches streamed. I'm not sure if it'll be on this TV table or the second, but we do have a secondary TV table that is streaming matches all day long. Jeanette gives him a good whack, makes the one in the corner, but the five follows the cue. And big snooker, no shot. They are playing that break rule. I found that out yesterday, but they are playing the three-point break rule. I'm so sorry about that, Laura. So the Scotch Doubles Finals started last night around 9 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Jeanette's going to push out. She... He's looking at it pretty good. Two to the three is tough. It's not the easiest of positions. I also want to give a huge shout out to James Hanshu. He's sitting right next to me, but he is the Cowboy. reason these ladies have a $5,000 added tournament. Um, he supports the ladies like nobody else. Um, he did something similar at the uh, at the Texas Open, getting that ladies' event a, a much higher added value. So, uh, James Hanshu, we appreciate you. Um, we appreciate QTech for adding the money they did to the banks. Um, all of our great sponsors have helped us out in a, in a tremendous way. So, thank you guys. Jeanette here. Going to have a tough one real kick. No, she could push, but she's looking to push to a jump. Oh, it was a legal break. Oh, it wasn't? I know, I'm asking. Oh. How many balls did she make? She made one and two are passed. So okay, yeah. She, good to go? Good, yeah. So yep. she can roll out. She's looking to push to a jump, but, you know, she's got other options. Uh, she doesn't want to let, she don't want to let Allison to the table with anything where she could be offensive. Don't worry, Paco. James has still got his hat on. Let's see how. She's snug on that five. Yikes. Yeah, it's a tough push-up table even just to push it. But Jeanette don't like it. And she's just trying to figure out what to do. For the one pocket, we don't have a finals match yet. What we do have is a hot seat winner. Thank you, Wes. We appreciate that. Uh, Crystal, they're playing in Aiken, South Carolina at the Diamond Open. Um, at Rack and Grill 3. Incredible place. Huge. Lots of room. Food is good. Great place. It's a perfect spot to have events like this. Plenty of room. They got booths set up. and So Jeanette clicks so off that good. 6 and gets to where she thinks she wants to entice Allison to take this shot. But I think Allison is going to give it back to her. I don't know. I, I, I'm looking right down the barrel. She can make it? I think, 
I think she can see it. Wow, so Jeanette might have not got to where she wanted. I don't know if there's a piece see enough to make it, but I know I guarantee you she can see it. She's staring right at me right now. Yeah, yeah, to it's right, uh, right in your camera view there. Yeah. So it is a good push because it's at least making Allison think and elevate so she's got a tough shot here she makes it she's got a shot at getting up table yeah and with the three ball being where it's at it, it this is what makes that that tough she put her on the rail it takes the draw away um this is definitely a thinker right here i think if she pops it she'll get up table because she's got to do it with a little bit of outside english anyway and i'll take her up table there it is good shot a little bump. Good shot, Allison. Let's save that one on the replay. Yeah, absolutely. Came out smelling like roses, as, it, as they say. Allison could go two rails or one rail, come down for this four. They'd go up off the top back rail, one rail, or short rail, long rail, and out. Don't want to come too far out and snip yourself on the six. Don't want to come too far out and hits a great, yeah, she good shot. Good. She could go forward two rails or draw high across the nine. I think she's going to go two rails past the eight. And Allison's shooting so good. Wow, that was beautiful pattern right there. She's got a little outside angle on this five. Uh, could make a challenge and she needs a proper angle on the six ball To get up easy and simple. She'll draw this back create that angle to go up table off the six Perfect shot. I love just watching her she she does so well with um, You know you hit the ball and you stay down and her absolutely her, her cue will stay in line It stayed in line mm -hmm. for that entire draw shot look yeah. It stays in line. Make sure she can't get up, yeah. you know. Yeah. Champion. That's incredible. Perfect position. Allison's looking to go four nothing here. In a race to seven. The, uh, we saw the hot seat match from Dennis Orcolo and Sky Woodward for the one pocket last night, and we went directly into um, the finals for the mixed doubles. Um, Sky okay. and Dennis were in a heater. Allison, 4 nothing. Their first game was about... It uh, went for forever, that right. last ball, the one first game, right? It was three hours? Mel 
Johnson. Uh, I'm, I believe that there is a website available to purchase those black little shirts. I'm not a thousand percent sure what that website is, but um, I'll tell you what I can do. I can try and um, get that website uh, and post it to OmegaBillions.com's Facebook page. Allison's got a nice shot to take this one into the corner and come two rails out back towards center table for the two in the corner. I believe, uh, I know for a fact, Sky Woodward, Dennis Okolo, and Evan Linda are still in. There's one more, and I want to say it's Roberto Gomez. I'll oh, that go. boy Thank slow you. down. Thank you, Kathy. Just a little over hit. Wanted to be a little bit straighter, but we'll deal with this cut on the three ball. I don't know if she's, she comes right out towards the eight, the rail towards the eight, so the long rail, one, two, and back out. Henry, the doubles match last night was won by SVD and Allison. She might stay on the high side of the four, and yeah, she decides to go on the high side of the four and play it inside. Nice shot. Hey, Mickey, how you doing, buddy? I see you over there sneaking in. Shared the post. We thank you so much for sharing. Alice gonna draw this ball. I think she's gonna draw it, not go straight across. Just draw it out. Try and get that angle where she's got the cue ball now. So one wheel out. Be a nice shot. Don't want to come up short, so you gotta get over. Nice and smooth. I think that's what we all feel like, Eric. Early 2000s, Jeanette Lee and Allison Fisher. All we need is Karen Core. <laughs> We used to play in New York, uh, tri-state area. There's a tournament room called uh, West End Billiards. And we were there two, three times, times a week, all of us. Jeanette used to be there. And she started off for women's pool, at least on American side. I mean, name another American female pool player. Uh, she's one of the greatest ambassadors for the sport. Uh, the Metal ambassador. Period. The ambassador started it. If, if it ain't for Jeanette, there is no Allison Fisher. If it ain't for Jeanette, there's no Karen Core coming over here. Allison Fisher came and wanted to get on the, you know, the pro tour because she saw the success that Jeanette had, you know? So Jeanette is, in my eyes, she started for American female pool, and then it triggered into international. I mean, she's got a pinball machine. Who has a pinball machine? <laughs> Jeanette Lee, Black Widow. And um, Allison was a snooker player before coming over here. Um, played snooker, um, and then I believe up to around 1991 or so, she came over here and started playing American Pool rotation. Um, I think it was her first year. Uh, they had first year on the women's tour. Maybe they have 12 events or something. Jeanette won them. I mean, uh, Allison won them all. She won them all. Every single one of them. 
So I say, you're pretty good, <laughs> you know. She wins every event. And that started the explosion, as they say. But in my eyes, Jeanette Lee started it all. ESPN, everything for women's pool. Without a doubt. Good for her. Here we are. And hopefully she breaks and runs this one. Big break there. Makes two balls. And a shot on the two. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Finally gets a shot. Larson, there's a match that's going to be called on that table shortly. It's going to be a one pocket match. Jeanette's pretty straight in here. Don't have to do much. Maybe draw back just a tad for the three in the other corner. all the way down the table but leaves Allison a nice easy shot to get position on this three not sure if that five goes past the eight it should I think the five does squeak by shot. She's going to top rail and try and come in the path of the cue ball, but a little bit past the size to keep that angle to go one rail and try and get over for that five ball. She wants to make sure you're not short, but keep that nice angle. She's drawing. She just wants to draw and get over there. Nice shot. I like that. Me something there. So she's got a nice shot here, one rail. Maybe a little top ball. And float to the right side of the table past the side pockets for the five ball in the corner. She has the four oh ball hang up. She didn't hit it too good, maybe a little bit of of an overcut there, and that ball stays in the jaws. Well, with it being deep in those jaws like that, it makes it a little tougher. Oh, I thought you were gonna go and play with the, the rack again. Yesterday, that was, I think that was the first time I seen two balls sit on the rack. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. This is a touchy shot for Jeanette because it sits so deep in the pockets. So you, you try and go rail first and the rail first puts you right on the point. You know, so you gotta hit it fuller and fuller or straight draw out. You know, don't hit a rail. But when it's deep like that, those little corners you can catch and just you know, you get just get stuck there. This 5 9 looking aside. No good. You know, the shot here is to like hit it like with a bottom, little bottom ball. And you're going to go screaming past up to the top of the table and back down. But she's going to slow roll it. She you know, can almost get caught and stuck right there because of that point. Give uh, Jeanette option here to either be aggressive, put that on the side, or stick bank it and snooker. But I think she's staying aggressive. Here. There's that nice. 
I stick no safe. Way. No, she's no, good. <laughs> How many times have we all done that? Where you're playing safe, you bank the ball, and it goes in. You become the best banker in the world and the worst safer, you know, when you do that to yourself. It's still a good save. It's just on you, not your opponent. <laughs> Definitely doable. Jeanette played the, the straight stop shot, so the same angle. Wow, the horseshoe shot. Ring around the rosy. What a shot there. Allison kicks it and it hits both titties. Ring around Points. the rosy shot. Points, titties, Points. loser side, winner side, right? Loser side, B side. Can't say losers. We'll right? have, have on Facebook, so they're points. Oh, yeah, points. They're points. Points. Facebook don't show no titties at all. <laughs> points. Gotta remember that. Corners? No, not corners. Points. Points. Yes. The points the pocket. Ah, Jeanette's got a nice shot here. We'll go draw it to the rail and come back out for the six. Could let your stroke out here a little bit. Nice smooth uh, stroke there. Walter, Sky Woodward's in the hot seat, and we're actually going to get a... Uh, one pocket semi finals losers match um, next. B side, B side, B side, yeah. right? B side. One loss. Yeah, one loss. I guess Sky's already in the hot seat. Mm -hmm. Sky is in the hot seat. Yeah, Sky yes. is in the hot seat. Sky, the non one pocket player, is in the hot seat with all these one pocket champions. Go figure, right? Nice shot there by Jeanette. Come a little bit. Don't yeah. get frozen. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's good. Imagine if she got kissed. I think if Jeanette's going to need the bridge or the extension. I don't think she can reach this eight. So Jeanette's got the bridge. A little cut here. Floated in. Played a nine in the same corner. I think she's got some angles, so she'll just be able to follow forward. Good shot. Jeanette Lee. On the board. No <laughs> shutout, no donut, none of that. Here I come. 5-1. Jeanette says, be careful now. Yeah, Jeanette's saying the skunk is off. more once again guys thank you so much for, for sharing we're live on facebook um what a historic incredible match you you could have seen this on espn 20 years ago um maybe even 25 years ago you could have seen the same match um i'll be at a little different table and a, a little different look but um Oh, they were headliners. They were headliners. Jeanette Lee and Allison Fisher on ESPN. Man, the ratings were through this, the roof for pool. Two of the greatest female players to ever live. Two of the greatest players to ever live. 
Break there by Allison. No shot on this one ball. Got a push. And even after the push, you don't even have a, sh a good shot. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm pushing between the eight five. Eight five, right there. I'm just stopping it right there. Mm -hmm. Eight five. Play for the cut or like the save type of thing. Yeah, right? makes it a little bit. It, it's a super tough cut. Um, there's a safe opportunity there. We have to execute. Um, I think. I definitely think the uh, the push out to there is a good shot. But Allison is going to know much better than I am. So whatever she does is what I think you should do in this spot. <laughs> She's going to add some length to it. I was looking a little further up between the 5'8". She's looking back here at the same line, just at the other end of the table. Pockets the two. And Jeanette says, go right ahead. I don't even want to get up and sit down. <laughs> she said the worst shots of her life are push outs. <laughs> Jeanette said she can shoot it. <laughs> yeah, she, she wants to cut to this right off. in. safe. Bring the cue ball back down behind the front line, maybe. Just hit that 8 9 gap with the one. It'd be a pretty good shot. I'll tell you kind of what I like. I like hitting the one ball square full and banking it back down the table, letting the cue ball kiss off the seven and, and run behind the three. Yeah, cut across it. That's yeah, that. Bring across, the one straight back bring, down. Yeah, that's just, that's another as safe. Long, as long as it doesn't hit the nine ball, I think I'd be all right on yeah, that safe. Yeah, fine. She's um, looking at all of them. The kick isn't a bad option either. The kick is great because the cue ball definitely falls towards the seven. Thank you, Kyle. You guys, you can get your Black Widow shirts there. I just posted them in the chat. She's looking at that the eight nine, getting in between the eight nine. This would be a nice shot. Nope. Easy, easy. She 
Got it. Uh oh. Easy, easy. Yeah, easy. just a little overhead. Good shot. Right idea. Yeah, exactly. Right idea. Just overhead it. Allison got a bank on the one. She's got a nice safe to play the cue ball behind the seven. She's got a cut to but the wild cue ball with loose cue ball on that shot. I don't think she's gonna cut it. I think she's got this bank. Or the safe. And she's pointing out where she wants to drop that cue ball. or Grasha. Um, so she, what happened is she played a rollout. So immediately after the break, um, she can shoot anything she wants. She doesn't have any rules. The only rule is you can't scratch. And um, the only difference is Jeanette uh, has the option to give it back, which is what happened. So Allison pushed, pushed out, rolled out, whatever you want to call it. She made the two ball. And uh, Jeanette told her she could continue to shoot. Explanation was good. Um, Jeanette going airborne. Can uh, can black widows fly? Can they jump high? No, changing their mind. Going back to a playing cue. They maybe once she got down, maybe the jump wasn't comfortable. Yeah, Bobby Terry, um, Alice in full class. Ready? <laughs> oh, that beeping. The microwaves. Ooh, just missed it. Nice, nice attempt there. Opens up the three in the corner. So close. So now the three goes past the seven for Allison. Oh, 
draw to the long rail and back out. Oh, she had to stop this angle so bad for me. It looks like... I don't know what camera I should look at. What monitor? Because I can't see the table itself from where I'm sitting. Yeah. I mean, I got to stand up, but... I think I think maybe she can just drag over. Yeah, she's dragging over, but this... Um, this this curved, uh, I got a curved monitor and I, I, it messes up my angles there. But I thought she had it. I think she was straight. Good shot for Allison. she wanted or would prefer I think she could go forward just before the side pocket and pop out that's a, that was a risky shot I think maybe she wanted a bigger bump there or hit it harder you know to come all the way out I don't think she was playing to hit the seven so it was a tough one there. I don't think she could play the back cut, but maybe. Play back cut. Maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> play safe. Oh, yeah. Nice that's, shot. That's a super smart shot. Drops the cue ball down to the bottom rail here. Almost frozen. I'm not sure if Jeanette can see an edge. I do not think so. seven ball but that could have been a whole lot worse yeah, great, great shot, shot by Jeanette there. swept its feet on the way in, but it fell, and that's what matters. Position on the eight for the corner. Already up 5-1. Thank you. 
Good follow there. Real good shot. And uh, we're definitely looking at a potential, once this nine ball falls, be six to one. to pay-per-view and pay-per-view only. So if you're watching on Facebook and you want to watch this uh, this one pocket match, you can definitely uh, definitely go to omegabillions.com and buy your pay-per-view pass. But next up on the stream is going to be Evan Lunda and Alex Calderon playing one pocket. The winner of that will meet Dennis Orcolo to play for third place. And then, uh, obviously, the, the winner moving on to play Sky in the finals. Guys, you can find all the brackets on digitalpool.com. Now, some of them are replica boards because they've done the brackets on a paper bracket. Um, the nine ball and the ladies are live. So those are live being updated. That's the only way those tournaments are being ran. But uh, the open nine ball, because it is a 128, or, I'm sorry, the, uh, the the doubles in the one pocket, they will run on a live board, so it may not be 100% updated. Two breaks, two breaks in a row for Jeanette that she pocketed a ball and gets an open shot at the two ball here. I think she can miss all this traffic. Maybe play the 8-9 gap to get through for the three. I don't know if she wants to come yeah, she's looking at that 8-9 gap. To come off the back rail here. Uh, the short rail, I should say. Thank you. 
that was to make sure she rolls up far enough so that she doesn't have to have an angle on the seven going into the nine. She rolls up, keeps that good angle on the seven, where she's not going to go into the nine. Keep the run out clean, no bumping balls. Hard to tough. There's an angle. Maybe a slight angle, but I don't think she has to hit the nine yeah, either way. I think there is a slight angle, and I, th I think maybe the safest way to do it is to bump the nine. You don't want to be bumping nines if you don't have to. If you have to bump the nine, then you figure out where the, the bump takes you. But I don't think she needs to do that. I think she could either stick or go forward. She's just making a decision. But you don't want to be bumping that nine. Ah, she perfect. Didn't have to. That's a great shot. Jeanette might get her break and run here, which would be nice to see. Second, Jeanette with a nice break and run. Yeah, I'm gonna try and be as still as possible because she's standing right down the barrel at me. Good shot. Okay. Break and run clean by Jeanette Lee. That's Makes it really six break two. Break lands for her is on Eric Allison's turn. So she'll be breaking to close it out. Jeanette will move over to the one loss side. No open shot for Jeanette. Legal break, so allowed to push out. safe. Maybe I push over by the six ball. You push down that two, you, it's a simple save for Allison, if not to be aggressive. I played a one eight carom, but you push over to the two or the three, there's such a simple save for Allison. So I push over on the other side of the air, over here by the six or something. Yeah. 
and gives it back to Jeanette. And Jeanette thinks uh, it's time to go and whack at it. This one might bank cross over to face a lot of traffic to get through. A couple kisses up there that could happen. sorts of kisses up there, gets lucky. I don't think Allison has a clear shot at this one to pocket it in the corner. And as soon as I say that, it's a hanger type thing. Plenty of room. traffic. You get a two ball in the pocket down here in the corner. Okay, just one little bump. Good shot there. Opens up the table for Allison. The seven goes by, which it has plenty of room. Could be looking at a seven to finish. So she stays, tries to stay inside, not go around and bumps it. Still has a great shot for this three ball inside. Two rails or one rail. I think uh, she might play for the corner. Not sure if she's going to swing it all the way around for the side. I'm not sure if she could hold it to get to that side. She may have to just go straight up and down. She's digging in. Hopefully she gets past this seven ball. Okay, no click on the way out. A good shot, did play for the side. side or go two three rails below the nine to come for the five on the same side I don't know if she's gonna try and hold it there oh she tried to come inside the nine bumps the nine has a little tricky shot here on the five for up the corner but if she makes it she's gonna just drag it and have a nice six ball on the side so no real speed here just pocket the ball Just a second. It's coming right back though. And here it is. There we go. Allison's deciding she wants to 
go to this bottom rail or draw side rail to come out. I think she's going to go bottom rail. Okay, a little bit longer shot. Okay, guys, now you can see the, the numbers by their name. That's what their race is to. I see you guys. Uh, I see the suggestions. Isaac at digitalpool.com helping me out here. So we have those races um, up there by their names now. Allison's going to stop it right there or get to this long rail. So she does, able to drift it over to this long rail, gives her the great angle for the eight ball, two rails. Top rail, and bring it to the long rail almost by that side. Real easy to control when you're close to your work and the the roll is natural, just speed control here. Good shot, and Allison's gonna fire this nine in. If she does, it'll be a seven two finish. Allison Fisher over Jeanette Lee. This is 1995, 94, 91, all over again. All right, good shooting, great match there. Oh, so two this. old friends, let me tell you. Two legends. I still hate her. Bro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good for you, Jennifer. Time, uh, Jeanette. Guys. Good to see you. Well, guys, what okay. a phenomenal, phenomenal matchup that was. Um, super excited for that one. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook, um, we are going to cut the live stream on Facebook. And um, if, if you want to go get your pay-per-view pass, go get it right now. Um, we'll have some one-pocket action coming up here in just a few minutes. But we're going to go to commercial. And then, guys, right after the commercials, our Facebook feed is going to cut off. So once again, thank you for joining us for this historic match. And uh, we'll be back.